going for a photo walk today, Amsterdam of course, but which camera? Hmm. On my way to Amsterdam again and I decided to travel light this time, so I will take pictures with my smartphone and with this little beauty. Hi guys and uh, welcome back to the show. Um, it's been a while again, uh, sorry for that. Um, I try to keep up and post more uh, frequently, but yeah, uh, life just happens, so I'm afraid I'm uh, not able to post at least once a week, but yeah, uh, I try, and I promise I will try better. Um, in this video I want to show some uh, pictures I took with the Canon Net 28 and here I have this beauty. Um, I wanted to have a photo walk in Amsterdam and uh, didn't want to have a camera bag uh, with heavy camera, heavy lenses. I wanted to use a camera that would fit in the pocket of my coat. And guess what? This little beauty fits easy in my uh, in the pocket of my coat. Um, before I uh, show you the images, um, let me tell you something about this camera. As you can see, it's a rangefinder camera, um, so you focus by uh, matching uh, two images you see in the viewfinder, and focusing, of course, is done with the focusing ring. Um, this is uh, for street photography um, a nice camera that is um, it has a programmed shutter and uh, the only thing you can do uh, in uh, terms of uh, yeah the, the lighting uh, triangle and that would be ISO, aperture and shutter speed only aperture and ISO are adjustable by you. ISO is set here, uh, ranging from uh, 25 to 400 ISO. And the aperture is set by this ring here. And you have a little lever here. And with that you can change the aperture from 2.8 to 16. And you can put it into auto mode and then uh, the camera will decide the shutter speed and the aperture for you. Um, in order to be able to program a shutter speed, it needs a battery. And in a viewfinder, you actually can see the chosen shutter speed. Um, that is, you get an indication of uh, the, the shutter speed. Um, shutter speeds that are calculated by the camera uh, vary from 1 30th of a second to 1 620th of a, sec a second. So, um, yeah, in low light situations, um, uh, in uh, the hectic of the scene, uh, you might uh, want to be careful and hold the camera still. And if possible, take a look in the viewfinder and see what shutter speed is chosen. So you need if you're uh, you know if you're on the safe side or not. This camera was built in uh, the period from 1971 uh, until 1976. Um, I think this one is a rather uh, late one, so I would say uh, 1976. And. This camera is a little bit famous for its uh, light leaks um, and if you take a look at this one, let me be careful here, yeah, if you take a look at this one, it is old, but the light seals are gone um, and here they're gone. Um, nevertheless, I took my chances. Uh, put a roll of film in it, didn't tape the camera before I uh, start shooting. And as you will see in the pictures, um, no light leaks at all. Um, 
so I'm a little bit uh, surprised by the fact that this camera would be famous uh, because of its light leaks. Um, okay, um, I was going to shoot with this camera and with my smartphone, uh, the one that is filming this at this moment. Um, and uh, all because of I wanted to travel uh, or walk light uh, lightweight um, and yeah same thing as always happens um, I'm too busy watching the streets and uh, focusing on scenes or subjects or objects I want to uh, photograph um, that I forget to take out my mobile phone and shoot pictures or even shoot film maybe it would be a good idea to uh, find me some camera person that can uh, take videos of me walking through the streets of Amsterdam if you know one tell me um, so um, I won't uh, talk any further um, please enjoy the images and I hope to see you next time. Bye.